Welcome to 10th Maths Online Classes. In our previous video, we were learning about how to find the solution of the quadratic equation with the help of middle splitting method or you can say factorization method or by completing square and we also did that quadratic formula. Now today's topic is nature of roots. So let's start. Now nature of roots. In this topic, we need to find a thing called discriminant. Okay? This is my discriminant and it is denoted by capital D. Now what is this discriminant? This discriminant is B square minus 4AC. Now according to this D, we have certain rules we need to follow while doing the question. Now first of all, what is this B square minus 4AC? If you remember our quadratic formula, the formula is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Right? This is my quadratic formula and you can see that the part under the root is same as my this one. That is b square minus 4ac. So this number is my discriminant and the rules are, first of all, if D is greater than 0, roots are real and unequal. Sometimes you can write it as distinct real roots also. If D is equal to 0, roots are real and equal. Sometimes you can call it as coincidental also. And the third is, if D is less than 0, there will be no real roots. So, why there will be no real root? Because, look at that. Under root B square minus 4 is. It says D is less than 0. That means, D is my negative. D is negative. That's why it's less than 0. So, when I put this value of B square minus 4 is in this, I will get under the root some negative numbers. And we know that we cannot find the root of negative numbers. This type of number doesn't exist. These numbers are not our real numbers. Okay? These numbers are some called something else. These are not my irrational numbers. These are not my real numbers. So that's why we will have no real roots. Okay? Now suppose we have a question. 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. And we need to find the nature of roots. The question can say that find the nature of root or it can say find the discriminant. Both are same. So we need to find the value of d. d is my b squared minus 4ac. Now what are these B, A and C? These are the coefficients. That is my A is 2. That is the coefficient of X square. B is my minus 3. And C is my 5. Okay. If you know the general form of quadratic equation, you can easily write the value of A, B and C. Now I will just put these value in this formula. Now it will be minus 3. Square minus 4 into 2 into 5. Okay, now solving it, I will get 9 minus 40. Right? 4 2s are 8, 8 5s are 40. And 3 square is 9. So I will get minus 31. So I can see that this value is less than 0. So I will write less than 0. This means that my D is less than 0. And I know that the rules related to D less than 0 is that no real rules exist. Okay. Now if the question says find the nature of root, if the roots exist, find the roots also. 
Now it's in this question, we have real roots does not exist. So my question is complete here. We don't need to do it any further because roots doesn't exist. So we cannot find it. Now suppose instead of this equation, I had the equation as this. Okay, I had the equation as this. Now what will be my value of ABC? Now my C will be minus 1. Right? Again I will find my D. This is my minus 3 square minus 4 into 2 into minus 5. Okay? Now what is it? It is 9 plus 40. Right? Minus and minus are plus. So it will be my 49. Now this is my greater than 0. Right? And what is the rule when the discriminant is greater than 0? That there are real and unequal roots. That is there are two roots which are not equal to each other and they are real as well. Now in this question, if it says that, find the nature of root and if the root exists, find the roots also, then we need to do the question further. Okay? And how we will do the question? We will always try to apply the quadratic formula because this I have already found. So my question becomes quite easier now. Okay? My formula is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 is upon 2 a. Right? Now this value I have already found. So I can directly put this value here. My b is minus 3. So minus of minus 3 is minus and b is minus this one. Then plus minus under root 49 and 2 into 2. Now what are the values? Values are 3 plus minus 7 upon 4. I can see that root 49 is 7. Now I have 2 roots. What are they? 3 plus 7 upon 4 and 3 minus 7 upon 4. What is this? This is 10 upon 4 that is 5 upon 2. So this is my 5 upon 2 and second is 3 minus 7 that is minus 4 upon 4 that is minus 1. So I can see that there are 2 roots 5 by 2 and minus 1 and they are not equal to each other. So in any question whenever it says find the roots you should check it before applying the formula because sometimes the formula will give you no real roots. So all the efforts you will do in finding the solution will go in vain. So instead of directly applying the formula, first check whether the roots exist or not. Now let's take one more example. Now in this question, find the value of k if 2x square plus kx plus 3 equals to 0 has two equal roots. Now in this question, it is given that it has two equal roots. In these type of question, it is sure that you will use discriminant formula. Okay. Now it is given that it has two equal roots and what is the rule of having two equal roots? That is my discriminant is equals to zero. Okay. Whenever the equation has two equal roots, the discriminant will be equals to zero. So my b square minus 4ac will be equals to 0. Now what are my abc? I will look at this equation. What is my a? a is my 2. b is equals to my k and c is equals to 3. And I will put these values. That is k square minus 4 into 2 into 3 equals to 0. k square minus 24 equals to 0. So k square will be equals to 24 and k will be equals to plus minus under the root 24. Always write plus minus 4 
both because both the values will give me my answer of k. Okay. Now in this type of question, whenever it says two equal roots, you will always apply the formula d equals to zero. And this type of question will be asked only in the case of equal roots only. Because in other cases we are not to specify what is the value of d. We only know that d is greater than 0 or it is less than 0. But we don't know the specific value of d in those questions. Okay. But in this question we know the specific value. So that's why these finding value of k or any other variable will be always of the form having equal roots. In this chapter there are statement problems also. And the problems related to nature of roots have some different form. The statement says that, is it possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter this and area this? Okay. The first question it asks is, is it possible to draw a rectangular field like this? So it's asking you that, is it possible or not? It means that it is asking about the nature of roots. So first thing is, we will find the nature of roots. But the nature of roots can be found only when we know the equation. So first of all, we have to make the equation also. Okay? The equations are not given to us directly. Now what it says is, perimeter is 80 meter and area is 400 meter square. Now what is the perimeter of rectangle? That is 2L plus B. Right? This is equals to 80. Now 2 can go on that side. L plus B equals to 40. Okay? Now taking the formula of area. What is area? Area is L into B. Which is equals to 400 meter square. Okay? Now what I am going to do. I will take the value of one variable and put it in this one. Okay. Suppose L is my 40 minus B and I will put this value here. 40 minus B into B equals to 400. This is 40B minus B square equals to 400. So rearranging the equation I will get B square minus 40B plus 400 to 0. I always try to make the coefficient of b square, x square or any other. Whenever the term has the power 2, I try to make the coefficient as positive. So I took both the terms on that side. So this is my equation. Now I can find my d. Now what is d? d is b square minus 48c. d is my minus 40 that is Minus 40 square. Minus 4 into. What is my A? A is 1 and C is 400. I will get 40 square as 1600. And again this is 1600. Which is equals to 0. And D equals to 0 means real and equal roots. It means that. Yes, it is possible to draw a rectangular part like this. Now the question says, if so, find LN. Now till now this is the question. Till now this is the answer of question number 1. That is it possible? So you will write, yes, it is possible. When it will not be possible? When the roots will be my non-real. That is, when D will be less than zero. That is no real root exists. So that, at that time we will write no. Otherwise in any of the two cases when, whether it is D greater than zero or D equals to zero my answer will be yes. And it says if so find L and B. So now we will find our L and B. So what is my equation? Equation is this. B square minus 40B plus 400 to 0. This is my equation. I will apply the quadratic form. So B will be equal to minus of minus 40 
plus minus under root 0 of 1, 2 into 1. Right? My b square minus 4ac is 0. So I got substituted that value here. So answer will be 40 upon 2. That is 20. Okay? This is my breadth. Breadth is 20 and it will be 20. 22 times since it is equal root. So I am writing the question as only one thing. Okay? Breadth is my 20. Now what is my length? I had the equation L plus B equals to 40. Right? So L plus 20 equals to 40. So L will also be 20. Okay? So basically it is a square bar. Okay? The shape is square. Length and width both are equal. Now let's take one more example. Now in this question, a diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than shorter side. If longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side, find the sides. Now first thing is we need to form the quadratic equation and then we will check whether the solution exists or not. And if it exists, we will try to find the solution. This is the pattern of doing every question in this chapter. Now what is the equation? It talks about a rectangular field. Okay. We have a rectangular field here. And it talks about a diagonal of a rectangular field. So we will have a diagonal also. Now this is my rectangular field A, B, C, D. Now it says diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than shorter side. Now, first of all, diagonal is 60 meters more than the shorter side. That means that diagonal is dependent on the shorter side. So, in this question, we will let the shorter side be x. Okay? So, shorter side I have taken as x. Because all the other sides are dependent on this one. So, my diagonal will be x plus 60 because it is 60 meters longer than that. Then my longer side is, it says 30 meters more than shorter side. So it will be x plus 30 and they are all in meters. Okay, now it says find the side. I have three values. This is my x, x plus 30 x plus 60. Okay. Now which property can I use to find the value of x? You have to look at the question properly and in different questions the equation will be formed in different ways. Now in this question what I can do is I know that this angle is 90 degrees. Right? Because it's a rectangle all the angles are of 90 degree. So my C is also 90 degree. And if in a question I have one angle is 90, that means BCD is a right angle triangle and in right angle triangle I can always apply Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so in this question we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem. Now what is the theorem? It says Hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Now what is my hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is this slant line. This is x plus 60 whole square. Perpendicular is my x square and base is my x plus 30 square. Their rows can be interchanged also but the hypotenuse will remain this one. Now what I am going to do, I will apply the a plus b whole square. So it will be x square plus 60 square plus 2 into x into 60. Now this is my x square. This is x square plus 30 square plus 2 into x into 30. Now what can be cancelled? This x square and this x square can be cancelled. 
Now I will have 3600 plus 120x equals to x squared plus 900 plus 60x. Okay, still I can solve this equation. How? Now my equation will be x squared plus 60x minus 120x plus 900 minus 3600. I have taken both the terms on the other side. Okay, now what it will be? This is my x squared minus 60x minus 2700 equals to 0. Now this is my quadratic equation and I need to find the value of x. So in this question I can apply quadratic formula also and I can apply my middle splitting method also. But I am doing it with the quadratic formula. So quad by quadratic formula x will be minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay. Now what is my b? b is my minus 60 plus minus under root minus 60 square minus 4 into minus 2700 and a is my 1. So this is the one. 2 60 plus minus under root 3600 plus now minus and minus will be plus and what will be 4 into 2700 it will be 1080 right and upon 2 now what I'm going to do I'm going to add 3600 and 10800 it will be 60 plus minus under root 144 0, 0. Okay, now what it will be? This is my 60 plus minus 120 upon 2. 144 is the square of 12 and two zeros will give me 1 zero. If you are not able to do it like this, you can make the proper square root also by that factorization method. Now my answers will be 60 plus 120 upon 2. And second is 60 minus 120 upon 2. This answer will give me 60 plus 120. 180, 180 divided by 2, 90. And this answer will give me minus 30. But can the sides of a rectangular field be in negative? The sides can never be in negative. So we will ignore this minus 30 and we will take x as 90. Now in this question, the question is not complete yet. Okay, because the question says find the sides. Okay, so there are two sides. Shorter side and longer side. And this third one is the diagonal. Okay, this is the diagonal of a rectangular field. It's not asking about the diagonal. It says find the value of BC and C. That is the shorter side and the longer side. The shorter side was my X. So this is my 90 meters. Longer side is my x plus 30. So this is 90 plus 30, 120 meters. Okay. In mathematics, every question has stepwise marking. So if you don't write these things, the marks will be deducted. Okay. So be careful while attempting any question in mathematics. All the things have certain numbers allotted to them. If you attempted it till here and you didn't write these things, the marks will be deducted. It can be half mark or sometimes it can be one also. Okay. So these are the questions which can be asked in this chapter. So we end our chapter here. I hope you understand today's topic. Keep practicing and thank you.